Hey everybody, welcome back. Old Guy Gamer here. Let's uh, continue playing. This is The Police. Part 5. Which is day 6. Somehow. Alright, I think we saw this at the end of the last video, so this is a good place to pick up. Let's go to work. Day 6. Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. He left you this. A man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was talking on a big telephone, you know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. Damn. Okay, let's see about this. The photo could have been doctored, of course, but Sam doesn't go in for cheap theatrics. Kendrick is dead, his family is dead, and they probably died slowly and painfully. But Sam's got a bigger game. He's not trying to frighten me. He's just trying to clue me in on the facts. I didn't agree to work for him on my own, so now they're just going to insist. Boyd. Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like I was a member of your family. Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is immune. I don't talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? Oh, you'll soon find out all about that. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. You start today. Eight in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand, I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? But now I just officially became a mafia whore. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. But the only thing I can think, what's going to happen to eight and ten? Yeah, 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 I get it. So th what the only thing that doesn't make sense about this story, the problem in the writing is, uh, unless I just don't understand it, but why would the Mafia contact a guy that's only got six months left in the job? I understand they need a contact, but their their whole well-being would be better suited if they picked the next guy that's going to be chief rather than getting the guy that's got his mind and both feet out the door practically. But you know what, it's a game, so we'll look past all that and we'll pretend that it's important, so whatever. Looks like the janitor hasn't been around to clean the toilets today. I don't know how about you, but I care about the cleanliness of my intimates. Can I go home? No, you can just go to work stinking. It's my dog's birthday. Want to spend time with her? No. Father got drunk and beat my mother again. This time it's pretty bad. I'd like to go to them. Can I have a day off? No. Yeah, that's right. I'll make them go to work. You want to get paid? You go to work. You're only going to have to go on like two calls probably. Chinatown dormitory. I want to go back to that murder and resort those pictures. See what I did backwards. Because when I did the second one, I got it right and it ended it. So I must have gotten this wrong.
No. There we go. See, I, it ends it as soon as you get it right. So, literally, you could just play the math game and guess, and you'll get it right. Travis Horton, a known racist who already has several previous convictions. I don't get that one at all. Whatever. I don't care enough to care. Two officers and the lead investigator. All right, let's send... 150 is average. We're at 4 and 4. That's pretty good. Let's send two really good people, because... Actually, I'm supposed to... Whatever. Without the lead detective... No, how do I put the detective on there? Alright, what am I missing here? Close. 410A in progress. Robbery. Arrest the suspects. Okay, let's try this again. Where do I get this guy at? He's not on my list. Oh, he's, at, he's off today, that's why. Okay. Whatever, we'll do it tomorrow. Homicide. Travis works at the port as a loader. Send officer with the lead investigator. Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Let's promote this guy first. Oh, there's a labor market? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three off. Where's my other shift? I don't think this is the one that needs an extra cop. Oh wait, it said it at the bottom. Darn it. Cop slots too short, detective slots are full, so... Whoa, 1200. Let's just... <laughs> Should I hire a black guy and then piss off everybody? That's pretty funny. I'm on shift B. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. So I do need to hire someone on A. Um, let's hire her and try and build her up. If anybody gets fired, it's going to be a five or a ten anyway, so. Okay. Close, close. Let's do this one. Oops. I just want to put them in order. Why did I click the wrong one? Whatever. Attempted murder? Employee at a factory got into a fight with managers trying to push him into a vat of boiling chocolate. Wow. I guess we're sending our next two. That's for tomorrow. Yeah, I can't do that. You can hire one more police officer. Proceed. Um, um, do be, I guess. You swore an oath to serve the city. If you can't keep your promises, we won't keep ours. Failed. Whatever. One thirteen B in progress. Carjacking. Parking lot attendant reports seeing a teenager walking between cars, trying handles in hopes of finding an unlocked vehicle before the attendant could approach him. The teenager found an unlocked door, shut himself inside. A few seconds later, the teen drove, shrieking from the parking lot, greatly exceeding the speed limit. How is that a carjacking? That's just a car theft. He fled towards the suburbs, and I've got three horrible cops. I still don't know what A means. No clue. And we're not doing anything else until someone comes back. Offender caught. So Yancey needs to probably get promoted. We're able to arrest all suspects. Yay. Attempted murder. Oh, that was quick. What about the other guy? Was he killed? Was he thrown into a vat of chocolate? Or did he live? It doesn't say. 
Hmm. I don't remember how you promote people. can move them to another shift. That's good. Good to know. Backlog. Yeah, whatever. Labor market. Or full strength. I don't remember how to. We've got a people. Alright, the carjacking in the suburbs. Officers have found the location. Overtake the offender and block the road. Catch up with the stolen vehicle and open fire. Overtake the criminal and attempt to take him into custody. Man, the right answer always has that chance of going bad. Overtake the offender and block the road. Or overtake him and attempt to take him into custody. Yeah, alright. Alright, we moved to, to these two up above 100. Hostage. I got my best cops back now. A weeping child called in saying that someone was holding him against his will. They won't let me go outside. They torture me and bully me. I don't think I can keep going. I want to go outside and see Pete. I bet this is going to be his parents keeping him against his will. Uh, so let's send number one and number three. Hmm, unless it's actually a kidnapping, then I just sent two cops to deal with the kidnapping. Oops. Guess we'll find out. In 9-11, we received a call from an angry casino patron. Claims that one of the casino girls hanging around his table lifted his wallet, which was carrying a couple thousand dollars in cash and several credit cards. Sure. Casino security shoved him outside saying he was drunk, but the man isn't giving up so easily. Let's go take a report. Jack, we're dealing with a moron who refuses to repay his debts. Says that the police will protect him. I think it's time we show him whose side the police are on. Eh, you know what. We'll s send the best cop we have. This ought to be good. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, see, told you. False alarm. Kid wouldn't eat his broccoli and his parents wouldn't let him go outside, so he calls the police. Hmm, what else? Gotta wait for day seven to go get my Chinatown burglar or robber. Offender caught. Man, oh man. Shift B is rocking and rolling. Wish I could figure out how to promote some people. Assault with a deadly weapon. At a parking lot exit. Security guard stopped a suspicious looking van and asked to check the driver's membership card. Email driver casually reached into the glove compartment, pulled out a gun, and opened fire. Um. Let's take her back and put her in. Three ultra professionals in a 105. We'll see if we can get her up a little bit. Give her the best chance to get some experience and professionalism. Oh, I can scroll down. I didn't even... All right, I didn't even realize that. Shift A info. How do you how do you promote people? Mm, that's not it. Officer on scene. Perpetrator's van. Use the bullhorn and order them to stop. Shoot out the tires. Or try to run the van off the road. I wonder if they got the right one. Let's give him a chance. 
Sharp turn, crash through the window of a sex shop. A woman exits the vehicle, grabs the shop attendant, so she matches the description at least. She's a woman, she has a gun. Grabs the shop attendant, puts a gun to his head. Let go of the man right now. Throw a rubber sex doll at the assailant. Shoots Grimble in the head. Now, yeah, see? That worked. It went south, but I got three professionals out there. I think I handle it. How do I promote people? Maybe it's at the end of the day. Hmm. It's going really late here, day six. After midnight, after one o'clock. What time are we going till here? Some of the other days, there we go. Some of the other days ended at 2100, nine o'clock. Let's see, order to work tomorrow? No. So these guys are all off. How do you promote someone? Can't do that. I guess we'll just end the day. Maybe you can only promote them in the morning? I don't know. So we're up to day seven. We'll end the video there. Let's see what the newspapers have to say. We'll start the next video off with these newspapers also. Racist gangs run wild in city. Investiva investigation into the cop that killed the pregnant woman. Could resume. Second tower to be built in Freeburg. Okay, we'll get to those next time. I wonder how this racist gang killing black people is going to turn out since they promised to kill all the black cops on our police force. Uh, we'll come back and play this game again sometime. So you guys go watch some more videos and we'll see you next time.